Welcome to Electron Line and here we're going to discover what happens when we have an incomplete circuit that has a electric field across it. For example, let's say initially we put an electric field across a conductor that has free charges ready to roam around. Now let's for a moment assume that these free charges are positive charges. We of course know that in the real world it's the electrons that are doing the moving in a conductor, but from a physics point of view we like to think of positive charges moving around. So let's say if they have positive charges moving or able to move within the conductor that when you apply an electric field from left to right that will start pushing charges towards the right because obviously if positive charges can move and they're inside the electric field they will move in the same direction as the electric field. So positive charges able to move will begin to move towards the right and so we'll create a current density towards the right. That's the initial picture. So what happens when they have no place to go? We have an incomplete circuit, just a partial circuit, and they have no place to go. What happens is, well, in the next picture we can draw this. What happens is that these positive charges will reach the end of the conductor. They'll get pushed up against the end, which means that on the left side of conductor, you'll end up with a net negative charge. And so the separation of charges within the conductor as the electric field is continuing to push charges towards the right. What happens is that these charges accumulating on this side and evacuating from the left side will begin to set up its own electric field in the opposite direction. So what happens now, let me get a red pen, is that because of separation of charges here, you begin to create an induced electric field because of the charges. If the process continues, eventually so many charges will pile up on the other side and so many missing positive charges on the left side that the induced electric field by these charges here will get to be so strong that it begins to be equal in magnitude to the original electric field that was there in the first place. And when they become equal in magnitude, and of course they're opposite in direction, they will cancel each other out and then the current density will go to zero and no longer will there be any current flowing in the wire and you'll simply have a separation of charges across that piece of the conductor. Only if you have a continuous conductor all the way around can the current continue to flow with the electric field present. But if it's just a, an incomplete circuit like this, charges will build up at the end, it will set up an electric field in the opposite direction, it will cancel out the electric field that caused the current in the first place and simply stop the current, stop the current density and that will be the end state until we make some changes to the circuit. So that's what happens with the current flowing in an incomplete circuit.